Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. All right, guys, let's just dive in, see what's going on with you and your connection. It may or may not resonate, right? Maybe somebody else's. What's going on? Don't forget to flip the energies. Don't forget to flip. It may be you, it may be your person. All right, I take these guys always in the upright. So this is the three of wands. Somebody could be planning on moving on, planning for the long term, like making plans for your future or whatever. They have pride in their success and their labors, like all their hard work, whatever they're doing. But you need to be patient as you decide what's next. Like you're keeping yourself busy. You know what you're trying to do. You're planning for a long term, abundance, all of that stuff. But just be careful what you step into next instead of just jumping. But you are on the move. Somebody's definitely on the move. This is the Queen of Cups. Very loving person. Psychic most times if you're tapped in. You're self-sacrificing, so you give a lot of yourself to other people. It's almost like you sacrifice yourself for other people because you just constantly give and loving, whatever. Um, you do care a lot for others. Sometimes you forget to care about yourself. Always trust your intuition, so you're definitely doing that. And follow your heart, guys. So it looks like you're definitely on the move. You have the love of everybody. You nurture everybody. You're self-sacrificing, so you're always giving to other people. And then we have a Knight of Cups. This is a very romantic person, very flirtatious. It's like the, what do they call it? The Knight in Shining Armor. So this could be a sudden love affair, guys, coming your way, right? If you're not already in it. But there is a lack of balance in this relationship or there could be a lack of balance in your current relationship which will lead you into a sudden love affair this person may make your heart flutter they have a love of art and a love of poetry so guys be careful because you're busy working whatever you love your family you love your friends you love everybody you're the queen of cups very loving very nurturing right but then you're going to have this person. You may or may not already be in a relationship. But if you are in a relationship, then somebody's going to come in and be very flirtatious with you. And it may be a sudden love affair. That's not what you want. Be careful. All right, guys. What is going on? Let's do a little kipper. Let's just dive in. Do a little kip kip. Here for the collective. What's going on with who? Ah, you may be receiving a gift. This person may come in, that little knight in shining armor. Somebody may come in and give you a gift. You may be receiving a gift of some kind. Some kind of gift. Valentine's Day is coming up, right? Maybe be getting a gift then. But you do have an older gentleman here. Not necessarily older, just gray hair, right? But we do have an older gentleman here who's concerned about something. He's definitely worried about something. Maybe he's worried about flirting with you. Because mm. it looks like he's going to give you a gift. It's a sudden love affair, guys. Don't take the gift. Don't take the gift. Don't even put yourself in position, okay? Oh, it may be a little hard for you, though. It's a wealthy man. So what kind of gift are you going to get from this wealthy man? That wealthy man is going to give you a gift, guys, that's out of this world that is going to jump you into a love affair. Be careful. Oh, child. I wish I could be a fly on the wall. Holy Spirit. Guys, sorry about that. Rollie's drinking water. That's what you hear in the background. Yeah, and he's concerned about this woman. Maybe you work for yourself, doing your own thing, right? Because this, whenever I see this card, I feel like you work for yourself. Because it looks like she's in the home. You could be a seamstress. You can make clothes. You can do anything that you do with your hands. But I, I just think this woman here, she just works for herself, right? She works for herself. I just, I just feel she works for herself. She uses her hands for a living or whatever. What deck is that? That's the Kipper deck, right? 
She definitely, I, I believe this woman worked for herself. Whatever. Let's get it. All right, so you're busy working. You're planning your life. You're planning your next steps. You love everybody. You're a giving person. It's kind of psychic. So if you know who this person is, you can feel their energy, right? Because you're a little bit psychic in your little ways. All right, what's going on? This is the deck of opposition, so it has the upright and reverse together on one card. Spirit, what is going on here? Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody could be planning long term, but you're not ready to walk away from what you're currently in with the Eight of Cups in reverse. But it looks like you're not going to hold yourself back. You're not going to hold yourself back. It's like you're hesitating. Like you have the three of wands, but you're hesitating on going forward. And remember this card here says, be, take your time, be patient as what you decide what to do next. But you're definitely not holding yourself back anymore. And you're not in love. Ace of Cups in reverse. And the person that's coming towards you could also be coming out of a situation with the Ace of Cups in reverse. They could have been ending something. Or maybe the person that's coming towards you wants to come back. Whoever this person is that wants to come back, they don't have any regrets. They have no regrets. No, they do have regrets. Because these cards are in the upright and, you know, whatever. They do have regrets. Because they're sad here. So this person, maybe this person walked away from you. Maybe they walked away from you fast and now they're regretting it. They're not quite ready to leave with the Eight of Cups in reverse. They're not holding themselves back anymore. I think they're coming to this lady. They're definitely dropping their burdens. Somebody's coming towards you. Somebody is coming towards you. Holy Spirit. Ah. Whatever they're walking away from, there's no new beginnings there. So somebody could be coming your way, guys, planning for long term. They have abundance from their past choices or whatever, whatever, or this could be you. Feel free to flip these energies. They could be hesitating, walking away from something. They ha they are also sitting in some regrets. Maybe they walked away from you, but whatever they're walking away from, there's no new beginnings. This is the Knight of Swords energy. This could happen fast. Somebody's making moves, guys, and they're doing it really quickly. And they're manifesting as well. They're standing in their power. They have the magician energy here. They're trying to manifest the life that they want. Think it, you know, think it into, you know, will it into whatever. Yeah, they're lit. they're ending a world. This new love affair that's coming to you is ending a situation and coming to you. And it may start by offering you a gift here. The gift is coming from a wealthy man who is also concerned. Somebody's concerned. Holy Spirit, clarify this gift here. It could be two men in your life. You may receive the wealthy you may receive the gift from the wealthy man, which may make this other man concerned about what's going on. Holy Spirit, where's this clarify this gift? It's a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Whoever this person is, they're pissed. Maybe they know this person is coming towards you. Is that Queen of Pentacles? Yes, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. And 
yeah so somebody's pissed there is an ending so that rich man wealthy man is ending something with the queen of pentacles maybe she was obsessed with his money maybe she knows that this man is coming towards you to offer you a gift so she's upset and then they have the death card right after that holy spirit clarify the concerned hand the concerned energy three of cups in reverse Maybe he's concerned about overindulging. Maybe that woman cheated on him. Maybe that's why it's over. And there's no take backs. Yeah, he couldn't build with this person. It wasn't going anywhere. Maybe she used him for money and then she cheated on him, got caught, and now he's leaving her. Spirit, clarify this wealthy man. He's a hangman. I guess about where he's going, what his next steps are. Ooh, and what he's trying to see. And he's been through his judgment already. So although he was in Hangman, he's been through his judgment. I guess he knows what he wants to do. Spirit, clarify this woman here in her occupation. Maybe this person was deceived. The Page of Swords in reverse. He was deceived. This rich man wants the Ten of Pentacles with this lady here. Maybe you know this wealthy man. Maybe this man deceived you whenever he did. But whatever he went to, that stuff didn't work. So he wants out of that. She also could have got caught cheating with this man here. And they couldn't build anything with that. So that's what's bringing this wealthy man to you. He could be coming out of an ending. So be careful, guys, because your second card out said this could be a sudden love affair. Well, it came from this one. It could be a sudden love affair. Like a love affair is intense. It's fast. It's, oh, my God, you had such a good time. And then it's over in six months. So be careful of these love affairs because, see, it may be the perfect love affair for this man. But you may fall deep in love. And end up getting hurt in three to six months so love affairs are short they're not long lasting they're not meant to be when they say affair that ish is temporary now if you want to go and have fun with this person by all means you want to have a good summer by all means you want to take a trip you can trust them if you know them i don't know by all means but don't fall in love because they may not this is an affair. Be careful, guys. Be careful. Don't get your feelings hurt by this rich man. Get all caught up thinking you don't met Big Daddy, right? Right? Thinking you don't met Big Daddy and it's just not going to work out. Holy Spirit, clarify this Knight of Cups. Mm. I, I just don't want you to get your feelings hurt. Yeah, it's the King of Swords. He's making a head over heart decision on what he wants to do. Maybe the love affair can turn into something else. It does say falling in love, brief love affair. Maybe it's just going to happen fast, right? And then maybe it, it could last. Some affairs do last, right? So it, it could last for some of you. For others of you, you may get your feelings hurt, so be careful. He does have options. Seven of Cups. It's a head over heart decision. He has options. For sure. And a karmic will. He's coming with the karmic will. Holy Spirit, why is this wealthy man reaching out to the collective? What does he want? What is his true intentions? Ah, he wants to be happy. Or maybe you make him happy. Some of you, you may know this person, right? You may know them. He wants justice. He wants to make things right. I think back here he played you with the page of swords in reverse and now he wants to build things. Maybe this person really wants you, you know? Like, you know better than me. Maybe he just wants you back. Yeah, he's swimming away to calmer waters. You make this man happy. I think he... Maybe he regrets walking away from you 
because he does have regrets here. Yeah, he's coming and he's happy, Page of Wands, and he's excited. You're his Nine of Cups. You're his dream come true, his wish fulfillment. Guys, this brief love affair may turn into something serious. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Just tread lightly. Tiptoe in it, right? Tiptoe in it, but be aware of it. All right, guys. Peace.